But, uh, Space Food Truck! Love this game. I play this quite a lot. Um, really enjoyable. It is a digital-only version, uh, digital-only game, but it feels a lot like a board game. It's, it's, uh, it's really quite spiffy, dude. Um, so yeah, we got some, we got some bits that came in from, uh, hold on, where's my, ah! Yes, Streamlabs, please re-log into Twitch. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, there we go. We got some bits that came in for 4 Evil Not Good. Thank you very much for that. Apparently, 4 Evil Not Good is a fan of Space Food Trek, which is excellent. That is very exciting. I find this really, really, really enjoyable. Um, six years ago was really that ancient. I mean, that's a long time internet time, man. <laughs> need a chef's hat. You're right. I do need a chef's hat. Absolutely. Also, got a haircut. Technically, uh, I had it um, before the last Saturday stream, but I had a hat on the whole time. But uh, we got whiskey and chocolate. Oh, Halco. Hey, Halco. Thank you. Man, the summer vacation's hectic. Missing about half of the streams because of it. And I thought summer vacations were supposed to be relaxing. Boy, it'll be fun to get back to work. Uh, sometimes I need a vacation after a vacation. I know what it is. Oh, for evil. Thank you very much. More bits. More food truck hype. How's the throat? Pretty good. Actually, not great right this second, which is a little bit annoying. But um, it's been better. I've been uh, trying to take care of it. Doing what I can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kids for luck gives me my haircut. Haven't been to the barber since before the uh, the pandemic, and uh, yeah, pretty short. I need it for the summer, man. I just start to get real hot. I only tend to get it cut a couple times a year, so I go through this like period where it gets nice and long, and I get all like the waves and stuff, and it feels really cool. But then at some point, it's just like too hot on the back of the head, and I'm like, at, at some point, I just start to think I'm gonna grab my clippers and just buzz cut the whole thing. <laughs> Summer do more air to the noggin, exactly. How is she? Um, so she had her a kiss for luck had her chemo first chemo on Monday, and she's a uh, she's a little wibbly wobbly today, kind of kind of dizzy and thinks she's uh she's having a, a nappy do right now, but uh, so far okay. But the real apparently it's three to, the period of like day three through day seven after you get the chemo treatment is supposed for this particular course is supposed to be uh the, the most difficult to get through um so we got that to look forward to uh yeah and then uh, after that a couple of weeks of like basically a non-existent immune system oh um it's not weekly it's every i think it's every three weeks um and unfortunately that does coincide her final her final treatment is going to be happening uh, right around uh, PDXCon in September. As a result, I will not be attending PDXCon this year. Um, just because even if there wasn't COVID, it would still add like an immense risk of all kinds of, you know, cold, flus, the other, you know, just whatever that could be introduced into the house. So I'm not going to do PDXCon this year, um, which is which is sad, but definitely for the best. So there you go. Mm -hmm. She's getting more chemo later. Yeah, yeah. So it's, she's going to get uh, three more treatments, four more treatments. I, I don't remember the math. Something like that. Conflu would suck. Exactly. I've actually been pretty good to avoid conflu in the past. Um, I've always been someone who's been like very, very aware. It's mostly it's it's the hands. It's it, That's the biggest thing. You touch something and then you touch their face and that's how you get it. I mean, which is something everyone's aware of now. But I was always like super. It was always in my mind all the time. I'd always bring hand sanitizer to cons and things. So luckily, I've never caught a con flu that I can remember. But it is pretty standard. <laughs> do, do, do. That's before you told us getting more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just a little out of, out of sync there. <laughs> Need a robot you can link into 10 PDF con virtually. That would be cool. Yeah, one of those like little segways with like a tablet on it so I can attend virtually. That would be excellent. Mm hmm. Thank you and love to all. Thank you very much, Temporal Trash. We're going to read the subs real quick and then we're going to get started on Space Food Truck. We got some subs from Sooty Raincloud or a resub for 31 months from Sooty. Thank you very much, Sooty. Can't believe how much school you've gotten me through. <laughs> Fang has resubbed for 60 months. There's a five-year Twitch anniversary. Luxol's at 42 months. The answer to life, the universe, and all the things. Lef is at 35 months. Krieg Zochi is at 58 months. Excalibur is at 75. Reptiles at 38 months. Didrox is at 14 months. Skaverat's 89 months. Starfire's at 66. Amazing Kook is at 35. Scalp Scott's at 24 months. A two year Twitch anniversary. Whoops is at 19 months. Lodrian's at 89. Esoteric Fish, 54. So Cheese is at 14 months. Onion of Onions at 37. Stan from Timmins, the city with the heart of gold, has got a two year Twitch anniversary. 
Uh, C. Francisco's at 19, Mo Brocker's at 61 months, Ariel Orbison's at 25, Dryan, or D. Ryan perhaps, is at 57 months, Rhea Luckless at 50, Eurest Eurastus is at 44, Um, Rizma is at 35 months, Excel Miguel's at 35, Pro JG is at three months. Niners is at 57. And this is your standard reminder. Don't forget your uh, your Prime subscription if you've got one, because Twitch is really bad about uh, reminding you about those things. Oh, we also got a sub from Garfi. He's just come in at 80 months. 80, 80 months from Garfi. Thank you. All right. Let's get space food trucking. So you can play online, um, and I have played it online with my buddies. Um, every now and again, there's a like a slight weird desync or whatever. You just quit and come back in. It tends to fix it just fine. Um, but uh, overall, pretty solid game. Ooh, I don't actually want to go into online play. Get back. And local play. There we go. That's where I want to go over here. We're going to start a new game, and we're going to play on high hot difficulty. There's a very good chance we get obliterated very quickly here. There's a there's a heavy RNG component to this game, which is part of what makes it fun and like kind of repeatable. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Sweat is exactly the same difficulty, but it's got a time limit, um, and all your drop rods are broken. Uh, it's it's pretty brutal. Tie Hot's gonna be hard enough. We're gonna go with that. I don't think originally when I played it there was even a Dragon Sweat difficulty, but I guess people got pretty good. So yeah, we'll just tie sweat it up. Go for Dragon Sweat. Sweet. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, tip for everyone with Twitch Prime, register on the Discord so the bot nags you every month and forget to renew. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, right, because you'll be told that you're uh, you're going to get booted from Discord. Oh, that's quite smart. Ah, space. Sprinkled across its vastness are more exotic flavors than any single tongue could hope to fathom. We, the Galaxy Gourmet crew, risk our lives to bring the finest dishes from across the stars right to your home planet, and to earn money so we can repay our creditors for this very expensive spaceship. The captain has plotted our course, the chef selected some signature dish recipes, the engineer says all systems are go, and the scientist, eh, we prefer not to ask what he's up to anymore. All we're missing are some fresh ingredients and hungry customers. Ah, yeah. The Grillenium Falcon? God damn map staring, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. Procedurally generated map. We'll talk about how the game plays in just a scooch here. Every turn, there is a random event, usually quite bad. Um, door's busted, so a random door has been broken. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so it is at its nature a four player co-op game. But you can you can play where a player controls more than one person, or if you're solo like this, I'm controlling all four of the characters. There's a pilot, a scientist, a cook, and an engineer over here. And it is a card-based game, a deck builder game, effectively. Each of the characters has a, uh, a starting deck, um, and uh, some of them are, th there's some that are these generics, like Taste of the Future everyone's got, but most of the cards are, are job cards. So this Engage, for example, is a jar job card for the captain. So only the captain has these cards over here. There's a galaxy map. So our goal is to cook five dishes. These are random every time. Uh, apparently we're making black hole soup, which requires quantum beans and space kale. We're then making antelope souffle, which requires raw nuts, golden syrup, dark turnip, and blue meat. And finally, we're gonna make hot baguito, which is gonna need more raw nuts, more quantum beans, great white truffle, which is a rare ingredient, fried fructose, nitro preservative or preservatate and finally some more blue meat. We have to make all these and we also have to deliver them. So, um, and we do have to deliver them in order. So the very first place we're gonna have to deliver food is gonna be over here at Spenis. The locals don't think the name of their planet is funny, no matter how many times you say it. Sp Spenis? I have not tried Spellcaster University. Maybe I should give that a go. Sounds cool. Um, so, first things first, we are going to be looking for the quantum beans and space kale and hoping to deliver it there. We are currently in this location over here, apparently a potato. Its pronunciation is the subject of endless debate, even among the natives. I do like the text for all the different planets, they're quite interesting. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to wander around. So, the roles of people. The pilot's primary thing is to move the ship around, which is very important because... Um, 
visiting new systems is how we replenish the card pool to purchase. Also, it's how we find some of the rare ingredients, for example, uh, and ultimately get to our destination. So um, as the pilot, you're going to be responsible mostly for plotting out the path. Now, we've got a few cards in here. I can play Ask Around, which seems like a great idea, because this is going to reveal the first time you enter a system, there's an event. So not only do you get one on your turn, you also get one every time you enter a system. And some of them are really good. Some of them are really, really bad. So I'm going to start with an Ask Around over here. And this is going to let us click some systems so we know what to expect. Now, when I'm doing this, I tend to not prioritize systems where we don't have a choice. Like, we know we're going to have to go through this system to go to Spinus over here. Um, so, it uh, to me, it doesn't have as much value to identify this. Because even if it's really bad, we have to go through it at some point. But, like, these areas over here where there's a few different paths to go through, to me, that's, like, really valuable to start identifying. So, we'll check out the Genera system over here. Super easy customers, no sense of taste. Uh, oh, it's going to be Pep Talk location. I don't know what Pep, Pep Talk does, but it is good. It might let ev your, your teammates draw cards or something. Something like that. The Afro system over here. Oh, has Quantum Beans. Hey, hey, hey. We know we need them for the first recipe. So we're definitely going to want to go there. There's kind of... um. I think there's two systems over here. It's a little weird to see. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a line that goes through the amylase. Yeah, that's what's going on there. So we're going to want to hit that system. Uh, let's check over here at Deprica. French fried fuel will give us fuel. Okay, so all these locations are actually fine. So that's going to be a good route for us to take. And in particular, we're going to be probably eager to stop at Afro here. Canadian exiles. That's funny, Um, All right, what do we got? So, we've got the hall pass. I can use this to move the captain to other rooms. However, most job cards have to be played from the room that belongs to the um, the role. And in particular, we'll move you there. So, if I used hall pass to move to, say, the kitchen, and then he was engaged to move the ship, the captain would actually leave the kitchen, move back to the bridge to be able to do that. However, if the doors are broken, which they are, first of all, we started with the door to the kitchen broken, and we got the random event to break the door to the bridge, or vice versa. So the captain actually can't leave the bridge right now, So, but there's no reason for the captain to move. Um, so really, there's nothing to, for us to do but to engage. So this is a card, we play this, and then we have to give it a power charge. So each card has two symbols over here. The blue is how much the card is worth, which is what we use to purchase cards from our shop. Um, and the top part is how much energy the card is worth. Um, so engage by itself isn't worth any energy, um, but the Taste of the Future, which does nothing, and they're kind of garbage cards, but at least give us some energy early on, that'll let us move one square. If I throw a hall pass in here as well, this will give me two charge. So, um, and I, could, I can't use the engage because there's no power on this card, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. It's going to have, we've loaded two power into FTL over here. Oh, I didn't realize my FTL cap was two anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to move over to Genera. And I'm actually only going to plot that move because I still have a second engage. So we can actually stop at Genera, purchase some cards, and then move on to Affer in all in the same turn, which is going to be handy. The USS Enter Fries is pretty good. Punch it! FDL plus Among Us plus Slay the Spire looks cool. A little bit. I mean, the Among Us is kind of funny. Oh, okay, there we go. Pep Talk, Captain would like word. Another random player feels invigorated and draws a card. So our engineer got to draw an extra card, which is great. We're going to go ahead and dock the ship here. So at the end of each player's turn, they have to buy a card to add to their deck. If they can't afford one of these cards, if there's none in here, there's always leftovers you can buy, but it's pretty crummy. Um, so the captain, one of the, thing, the things they do, when they arrive at the planet, if they dock, we can add new blueprints to our Zap Mart over here. Currently, we've got a Spun Silk, a Raw Silk. Neither one of these do anything, but they're worth good energy. An Unamas Remote, which is excellent, because you, you play it and you let any crew member, including yourself, draw a card gives you huge flexibility enriched iconium is worth one energy and one money by itself but is worth more if you have silk or ingredients in your hand as well um, so these are already in our little shop and then i can add these early in the game i tend to prioritize things that are fairly cheap now we know we need space kale for the first recipe so i'm going to want to go ahead and add space kale into our uh, list of things over here we are going to need blue meat eventually it's not the most critical for us to get it immediately. But the nice thing about blue meat is, um, and most of these these ingredients here, the common ingredients, they're fairly cheap to purchase um, and they're worth good money. So they can help someone kickstart their economy kind of nice. So I'll probably throw that in as well. That seems like a decent idea. We do need two meats. Now the meat, blue meat is common. We're gonna run into plenty of blue meat. It's not an issue, but we may as well pick it up for lots of reasons. And then it's interesting. Now you can always click on one of these at the bottom and trash it if you wanna make some room. Um, 
But I think I'm kind of okay with it. The Enriched Draconium might be of only middling interest. Um, the Gamma Toaster and the Aegis Batter are really good. The problem is they're very expensive right now. Um, I can actually peek over here and see how much um, energy and currency people have in their hands currently. No one would be able to buy these right now, and it might actually take them a little while to buy. But they, they are very good. But I think what I'm going to do is just get the Raw Silk. Um, just for some early... Um, cheap stuff for us because I think that's going to be really useful. So I'm going to go ahead and resupply with these three cards. Then what I'm going to do, I still have one power in the FTL, so I'm going to play engage with no power cards, but I still have a power left in there. And so now, okay, I can't get to at A for directly. Okay, I wasn't sure how these lines work out, but I see now. From Genera, we can go to Deprica, or I can go to Olari. Now, I haven't scouted Olari, but both of those should connect to Affer. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to Deprica. What's nice about this is it will refuel because French Flight Fuel will refill our FTL. Um, and next turn, if the captain doesn't have an energy card, I'll still be able to make the jump, assuming I have an engage. So we'll go there. Plus, we know it's not a bad event. So we'll go over here. Deprica, Caprica, yeah. We're going to go visit Caprica 6. Boom. USS Putinkin. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm Putin. And fries. And someone mentioned pizza earlier. You, why are we playing a food-based game? Oh, yeah, right. Because <laughs> my thought was, well, you know what? We always end up talking about food in these streams, so let's just commit to it. There you go. Cook donate some old cooking fuel for er, grease for fuel. So we get plus two to our FTL, so it's backfilled, which is great. We've avoided all bad events so far. Okay. So, yes, we do need a second blue meat, but we won't need a second one for a long time. And it's a common ingredient. We're going to run into this again. So I'm not worried about grabbing it although it is good for building early economy and it's cheap as hell the power glove though i love the power glove it's so bad the wiz anyone or the wizard what was the movie called the wizard or the wiz it was the wizard oh, god big a, a great movie as a kid just a giant nintendo advertisement but oh i loved it exactly it's so bad <laughs> the power glove part was the only super awkward part because it was the power glove is a, just was a shitty tool and they didn't really <laughs> so dumb but I, I love the rest of the movie so much yeah the wizard i like it so the power glove is really good right play to draw two it does allows the user to hold more than we thought possible i mean that's just flavor text but yeah you play it you draw two cards it's nice because it's always worth uh, uh, money and it's always worth an energy as well i think we drop the enriched iconium um and replace it with a power glove extinction tron is really good but at eight it's too expensive right now yeah i think that's a no-brainer I don't think the Euconium is, is that useful. The question is, do we want to swap anything else? We could drop the Spun Silk for another Raw Silk, but it's cheaper. But I think I'm happy with that. Do we get the second blue meat? I think the answer to that is no. I'm going to leave it be for now. Okay, but yeah, we'll get the Power Glove. Now, the captain has played all of her cards, and um, we've, like, we finished all our flying around. Our Z mark is completely full. That's our Z mark over here. So I'm going to hit next phase. So now the captain, at the end of your turn, you're required to buy at least one card, period, no matter what. So the captain currently has five bucks because all the cards here, we've got the, the $1 value. I think every one of these cards is worth exactly $1. So we have five bucks to purchase something. Uh, you can always buy the leftovers. They are free, but they are just absolutely garbage. You don't want leftovers in your deck if you can. Um, and in fact, one of the great things you can do, hopefully relatively soon, is start thinning out your deck with a few maneuvers. Now, um, the cook has only got four energy. The other two both have at least five. So everyone should be able to buy things pretty well. Um, Usually my goal is to buy the most expensive thing because someone could get an event that causes them to discard some cards and then all of a sudden they won't have enough to maybe buy something. I kind of like the of, the of the power glove for the captain. It's really bad if the captain ends up in a situation where they can't move because either they didn't draw an engage or they didn't draw any energy. So I think we have the power glove on the captain is going to be um, a really good idea because if you get stuck in one position, what happens is the captain can't refill the shop and everyone's forced to buy a bunch of leftovers and their deck gets worse and everything is terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And you can buy as many things as you have money for. And since leftovers are free, I could buy an infinite number of leftovers. Not much point. I do like that you get this little stat breakdown for your deck. 
the average power per card and the average worth per card. It's nice to keep an eye on that. But I'm going to go ahead and end the captain's turn now. So those will get discarded. We'll draw more. And if ever you try to draw and there's no cards left, your deck gets reshuffled. All right, it's Chef's turn. We'll get a random event. Meteoroid. Womp womp. So that hits us. We took a hit on our shield. Now, we have five hull points. You, there's no way for us to ever replenish our hull points. Um, shields can be replenished, though. Uh, so one of the ways you can definitely die is from your hull going away. That will... I, I guess if you're not playing the timed version. I don't actually know if there's another way to die other than that, but yeah. All right, now next is a chef. It's kind of weird that it doesn't go in order of the ship, but you can see the order over here. The chef's responsible for actually cooking the dishes in the end, which is how you win, right? You cook the dishes and get to the location. Um, currently, we have no ingredients, so we don't have to worry about that. The chef also has some of the best deck manipulation in the game. So currently in our hand, we have three tastes of the future, which don't do anything, um, but we do have a taste test over here. Now, this is quite cool. Draw two card, add one to your hand, and then you toss the other one or distort it. So I'm going to taste test. And here's the thing. I'm thinking about trashing one of the tastes of the future. Um, because they're kind of the most garbage cards. Um, we have, I think we have two cooks. We can actually afford to get rid of one. But for now, I'm going to keep the cook. And I'm actually going to destroy a taste of the future. Just to try to thin out the deck a little bit. They are nice because they actually are worth uh, money. But so is the cook and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and destroy that. Optimize our deck a little bit more in theory. And the cook's got nothing else to do because we've got nothing to cook. The way it works is you play this with two power. Um, or for every two power, you can cook an ingredient, either from your hand or from your discard pile. But we don't have anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and next phase. And the cook's got four money. Um, we may as well get the space kale in the cook's deck since uh, that's... The cook does have a few ways to cook ingredients from other people's stuff. And if two crew members are in the same position, then you can exchange some cards. But generally speaking, the easiest thing to do is just to have the cook get the ingredients. So we'll grab the space kale because we need that plus the beans um, to advance. So I will just end turn. That'll get shuffled around. Now the cook's only drawing four cards because their draw pod is broken. Hopefully we can get the engineer to fix that. Another door has been busted. Okay, these are actually really good bad events for us to have right now. All right, the scientist's main role is to unlock more cards for people. So we've got this lab over here. We can, we'll be able to spend science points to unlock bonus cards for people. They are currently hidden. So each person, each role has seven extra cards that can be unlocked by the scientist. The scientist can also mutate a card to give it more based power, which is really good. Currently the scientist's own research uh, thing is locked and broken. Um, let's see, we can foresight, which will let us peek and spot a bunch of things. We can also just research. So here's, that's actually kind of interesting. We could spend Foresight with three power, and what it does is it reveals what's behind things. And that's really handy. Um, but then we wouldn't be able to research things this turn. Everything we can research currently costs two. It does go up with everything you research. Um, I want to think of my Foresight with one power and then research with two so that we can unlock something. In my opinion, the important thing to unlock early on is one of the engineer cards like duct tape or something like that to, so that the engineer can actually start repairing things a little bit better. I'm a little bit biased to, to like feeling that the engineer needs some love because I end up playing the engineer bunch when we play this. And the engineer is the last person to go so they get the last choice of cards from the shop. Um, and yeah, and if the engineer can't fix things quickly enough, everything goes really bad really quickly. Um, so I think, okay, I'm gonna foresight with one power. I'm going to peek here for the engineer. Okay, that revealed the quantum nucleonic core, which gives massive power and a little bit of energy. And in fact, more power if you're in the workshop, which is the engineer's normal place. So this can be worth six power. It's quite strong, but it does have to be paired with a repair card. I mean, I suppose with the nucleonic core and the trusty wrench, the engineer can repair a lot, but I'm kind of interested in maybe doing a blind research over there. I do, there's a, a card for the scientist we do need to unlock fairly early so that we can keep these costs down. It's not super high priority. The chef's got some really awesome stuff. Well, I mean, they all have some really awesome stuff. It's not the adaptation of a meat space card game, although I suspect that their prototyping was done with physical cards because there's no reason you couldn't. So yeah, okay, we'll research a two power. I don't think I'm gonna go for the core. I think I am gonna blind research the engineer here. We got a second trusty wrench which is, or probably a third trusty wrench. I think the engineer starts with two. I really want a duct tape, but oh well, that's fine. Next card, we got five bucks. 
Um, now, the scientist does need some energy for to po put into the research so we can research more stuff. Um, I'm tempted to grab the Unamas remote over here. If the engineer can get the silk, that might be more useful for them because then they can re repair things en masse. And if for some reason the engineer doesn't still have five, you know, six, but at least five bucks on their turn, um, they're, they're still going to be okay. This is kind of decent because the scientist doesn't necessarily have the same critical turn. Like we're not going to win or lose based on what the scientist does in their turn. So the scientist could use the Unimas remote to give a card to someone, usually either the captain or the engineer when something's bad. Like if the captain doesn't have a card that'll let them move, you can Unimas them to give them an extra card or the engineer doesn't have something to enable actual repairs, give them that. So I think this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Treat stream these options for blue meat and leftovers. Ah! <laughs> we usually end up with leftovers afterwards. All right, so I'm going to do that. Was it the right move? I don't know. I have better luck playing this game when I got all my friends, because A, they're smarter than me, and B, if everyone's just looking at their own deck and thinking their own optimizations rather than have to worry about everything simultaneously, it's there. Okay, so this is our first slightly more significant bad event here. Um, there's a bad dream. So a terrible person has fallen asleep at the wheel and it shifts on a collision course with ours. We have to discard two power to honk, or he's going to clip our ship and deal two damage, or one damage. So... As the Engineer here, it actually normally might be willing to let the damage, because first of all, we still have a point of shield, so that would do that, okay? And then the Engineer can actually normally repair one point of shield per power. So it's actually more efficient to let the Engineer um, uh, just repair it instead, assuming we're not taking hull damage. However, the Engineer, and I didn't actually look at her hand ahead of time, doesn't actually have a repair card in hand, which is terrible. Um, we do have a couple of upgrades. So upgrade ship as you play it with one power to add a point to our maximum capacity of shield or FTL. So uh, we've got two of these. So, and then one power each, which means I have two of these Taste of the Future cards left over. So I may as well play two and dodge this bad event. Um, I'm a little worried about what our next hand's going to be because we'll probably have our trusty wrench and maybe no power, but fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll play you with the power, submit, um, I'm going to boost the maximum shield stat first, and then I'm going to play this with power, and I think actually I might go and bring the shield up to one extra level as well. I feel like uh, more shield is going to be more important right now than more engine capacity. I might be wrong, but we'll see. And that's it for the... Uh... Uh, the engineer's turn. Now, to dodge the event, I actually have to discard the card, so I no longer have six money. Um, so it's actually quite good. Uh, I guess we could have still bought the Udamas, so that's fine. I think for the engineer, cause that's tricky, because I do want the engineer to have money, but I think we have to grab the silk so that we can throw it into some repairs or something like that. See, look at this. Two trusty wrenches. Do not actually, we drew three trusty wrenches. That's actually a terrible hand. Oh, then the captain gets a positive thing with an extra card. I mean, that's great. Doesn't really help because the captain. That was actually a real waste of a good event. But okay. Well, I think our plan is we're gonna stop at Affer, and that's about it. Our FDL is already full, so I can't actually throw more in here. I could have picked leftovers, but they're crap. Um, yeah, and I can't hit two places. Yeah, we're just going to go over here so that we can buy the quantum beans. And that's it. Punch it. It's like, now I'd be like to be able to spend a power into the FTL, but... We're going to dock here. So there's no event here. It was just a note because the quantum beans are an exotic ingredient. They're slightly less common. Um, so we're going to add those in. They're a little bit more expensive, although they're great cards with two money, two energy. On the other hand, we're going to cook it pretty soon, so it's kind of pointless. Um, okay. We do need dark tulips for the next dish. Again, we need blue meat at some point. Well, we already have one in the shop. At some point, we'll need a second one, but it's pretty far in the future, so I'm not concerned with rushing that. The Diploma Bot is incredibly important. Wow, it's 97 months. Lazours, thank you. The Diploma Bot is expensive, but it's insanely critical. We haven't had one of these interpersonal crises yet, but they're really, really brutal, and we need Diploma Bots. Um, the Claw Duty is excellent because it lets you pull a card from your discard. 
Um, but it's a little pricey for us right now. I think I'm just going to grab the Unamas remote. I think that's going to be more manageable for our current economy currently. We're certainly going to want Claws of Duty, but I think the Unamas is going to be more useful at this time. So let's resupply with this. And then we're going to go ahead and end turn. And the captain's got plenty of money. Um, here's the thing. No one can currently afford the Quantum Beans. I'm tempted to buy them with the captain. We do have to get them to the chef at some point. Um, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. On the other hand, that's an interesting question. I'm tempted by the Unamas remote. I like having it on the captain because with the captain, the captain doesn't need a ton of energy. They just need to make sure they have one or two energy in their hand, plus like an engage. So the Unamas being one can be handy or we can draw them. I mean, I know we need the beans, but we don't, I, I, I really want them on the, uh, the, the cook. Um, if there is a card we'll be able to unlock in the lab, which will give the cook the ability to cook things from other people's hands and discards and stuff like that and take their cards, we don't have them yet. I should probably just buy the quantum beans with the captain. That way they're out of the shop, keeps us clean. It's going to give the captain a good economy and good energy. And then at some point the chef will be able to ninja it. Maybe I'll just do this. We do have time. See, this, it, this game is always full of decisions. I want the Unamas remote in the captain's hand. I don't really want the quantum in the captain's hand, but in terms of money efficiency, that's a that's a tricky situation. I'll grab the quantum beans. And enter. I could have bought the turnips and, be uh, and meat, but I really don't like giving the captain cards that don't have energy on them, which the common ingredients don't. Okay, more random damage. Okay, shields are down! If we start taking more damage, we take hull damage now. Okay, we're going to start off by taste testing with the chef here. I'm going to keep the taste test in my hand. I think I'm going to destroy the taste of the future. Now, we do need some energy in the chef's hands, but... Like, the hall pass still doesn't... We still have other Taste of the Future, so I'll destroy that. I'm going to Taste Test again. Okay, we still have plenty, so I'll grab this one. I'll, I'll destroy that one over there. We really do want to thin out our hands as aggressively as possible. Which, actually, at this point, this deck is getting thinner, which is nice. Um, I don't need to hall pass. I can't. The door's broken anyway. We've got nothing to cook. Uh, wait, no, hold on. My Kale... Oh, no, my Kale's not in my discard pile. Yeah, I can't. I can't cook. Kale must be one of these two cards over here, because I did buy one, right? Yeah, owned by the chef, but it's one of these two. But maybe next turn, because we'll, we'll draw these two, reshuffle. Hopefully next turn we can draw the Kale and cook it. We'll see. I guess one of the things of thinning out the uh, chef's deck is it does make it harder to have our ingredients in the discard, but I think overall it's fine. So the chef has the chef does have six money now because we did actually cycle a bunch of stuff, which is great. The chef, as it turns out, now would have been able to buy the quantum beans, which is annoying. I think the chef will just buy these two ingredients: the blue meat and a dark turnip. It's tricky when you buy two because the problem is if we can't move for some reason. Hang on, what does the uh, captain have in their hands? Ask around, hall pass. Okay, we have an engage. Good. Okay, so we will be moving next turn. But if we for some reason end up in a situation where we can't move. This can get depleted, and so buying two can be risky. But I think in this case, I'm going to go ahead and buy um, two ingredients here for our chef and just move that along. Okay. Yeah, I forgot the kale gives them so much money, so they could have bought the beans. So, yeah, I wasn't thinking about the chef's economy. Now the chef has all the money. Okay, cosmic rays. So one of our computers has been borked. So that's a second computer here we can't upgrade. So now I can't upgrade for the captain or the scientist. Um, we can't. There's nothing to haul past, plus our door is broken anyway. So we're going to research. Um, I'll put in three power, which is everything I've got. Now, you can see the engineer. It now costs three to unlock another card for the engineer. Or two for the chef, or here. Now, I mean, we've got three energy, so part of me is like, well, let's use it for the engineer. And maybe. Stop at Caprica so we can get some Starbucks. Nice. Or we can unlock one for the chef. The chef has some powerful cards. But I think I'm still going to go for the engineer. I'm really worried about things being too broken. Okay, the exterminator isn't useful right now, but it will be awesome. And yeah, I have more power so we can't do more research.
So again, the same thing. If for some reason the engineer has to lose a card, they won't be able to afford the spun silk. So I guess I'll grab it now. I could mutate two. I, I mostly, I'd like to look for the power cards first, but honestly, mutating a trusty wrench that has some built-in power is not the worst thing in the universe. I could have done that now because it would have been in their hand. All right, what are you going to give me? <gasps> Bonus card. Okay. Well, we're going to do... Well, we don't have a lot of energy. We're going to trusty wrench plus both energy that's in our hand. So I'd love to repair a draw pod because more cards, more better. Although the cook is not a huge priority right away. We're going to want to fix these lab stations so we can do more research. And eventually we're going to have to be able to move our doors. But I right now there's no choice. we got to put two points in the shield so we don't start taking real damage. Um, and then what I'm... Hmm. Roth Silk gives the engineer more m energy. But the Unimos is a little bit of energy, a little bit of money. And you can use it to, to draw another card for yourself or someone else. It's a little bit more cash efficient. I think I'm going to buy the Unimos remote. Because at least it keeps the value of the deck a little higher, and I think that's going to be a good thing. Pre or full release? Oh, this game came out in 2016, actually. So it's definitely full release. See, we don't have a freaking trusty wrench this turn. God damn it. The engineer's getting some really bad draws. Oh, we got our first Vexel. So this puts a card in that person's deck that has no energy, it's worth minus one money, and of course it's a card you can draw and therefore it's terrible. But we do have the Exterminator card for the Engineer, so he'll be able to purge Vexels from people, which is at least going to be okay. Let's uh, let's pop and ask around first. Um, and yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just poke a few things in our general area. What is this? Oh, more French fried fuel. Wow. Oh, it's back. <clears throat> so this is a really bad event. Um, this basically puts a xenomorph, you know, like an alien from Aliens and Alien, th that thing, puts one of those on our ship. It sticks around for four turns, and no one can move because it's roaming the halls. It's not a problem right now, our doors are busted anyway. And actually, if there was ever a time for us to just eat and it's back, it might be now. That's not terrible. It's, an, it's all relative. Uh, I think that accelerates timed events, so it's normally bad, but right now we don't have any time events, so it might be okay. Now... We have FTL energy, and we've got a hall pass to max it out. Um, oh, P Power Glove. I was thinking the... Um, I was thinking the Unamas. Power Glove is just herself, so we may as well just use it here. Alright, well, let's just charge for one. I think my first video for this was when it was in early access. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's been out for ages. Mm -hmm. And I played it a bunch. It's great. So yeah, I'm thinking... So we don't actually have to get over here. We're a while away before we can cook this. So we don't actually have to rush to spin us. Spin us. So I'm going to go here to It's Back. Because It's Back is like zero problem for us currently. So we may as well eat this bad event. And I will be stopping at this planet to, uh, to restock. So I don't need to plan the rest of our, our plan here. Yeah, let's just go pick up the am the uh, alien at Amelie's. There you go. This card two power to shoot away, or we can't move for four turns. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just we'll just take this, and then we'll go ahead and dock. Okay, we already have a dark turnip. Oh, shit, it says owned by no one, but didn't we? Didn't we just buy a dark turnip? As the chef? I mean, it's a common ingredient. We'll find it again. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't highlight. Highlights this. Oh, maybe it doesn't highlight any of the ones. Yeah, because we also have blue meat. It doesn't highlight any of the ones because uh, the, this um, this recipe isn't active for some reason. So yeah, okay. So I don't need another dark turnip because literally um, we only needed the one. The thing is, we have five slots. So we're going to pick up everything over here. We'll probably be uh, trashing the dark turnips at the next stop. There you go. There's the Xenomorph over there. So yeah, we're all stuck in our rooms right now, but A, there's no reason for us to move from room to room currently anyway, and all of our doors are basically busted, except for the Engineer's room, but he can't go anywhere because there's no other door, so it was a perfect time to eat that event. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just engage. We'll reload this to the max, and we'll move to a second system. So this was okay as well. So it's all relative. I believe if we had any timed events, this would advance them, but we don't have any right now. So we're going to go ahead and eat that event currently when it's not a problem. 
Punch it! I love the punch it button. Yeah, it'll trigger... All of our time-sensitive crises will trigger. It says for zero damage, because we don't have any events right now. So, no, we'll just take the zero damage. Excellent. Oh, did that... Uh, that advanced the alien's timer! That's funny. Okay. So now we have to make some interesting choices. We own one blue meat. We will need a second one, but not for a while, so I'm not worried about that. Um, we know we don't need the dark turnips, although they're good early money. The raw silks are fine because they're cheap, but they quickly become kind of not ideal. I don't really care for the hall passes. Mostly we want to hopefully buy the diplo bot, diploma bot soon. The hall passes at least are cheap and they do give you one in one, so it's never bad. Refined silk is pricey, but it's very good for energy. The enriched iconium is decent if we, you know, optimize it. Okay, let's trash a dark turnip for a refined silk, I think. Anything else? We don't need this dark turnip. I mean, okay, I suppose I might as well trash this dark turnip for at least a blue meat. Because we will need another one. There we go. Let's do that. And I think we're good there. Really hoping to buy the Diploma Bot ASAP. Alright, Captain. Oh, Captain's got enough for the Diploma Bot. So does the Chef. But, A, something might happen to the Chef. Well, mostly that's it. Something might happen to the Chef, and they might not have enough money. We want a Diploma Bot. 100%. I'd actually probably prefer the Chef having it. But, yeah, for sure. Done. We can't afford to not get the Diploma Bot in there. Alright, Chef's turn. Oh, I don't have enough energy to cook the Space Kale. Or to dodge this. I only have one energy in my hand. So we're going to take one damage, but luckily we do have some shields. And yeah, you need two energy to cook, so the chef can't cook the space kale right now. So the chef has nothing to do. So, I mean, eventually the chef needs the blue meat. And the chef doesn't generally need a lot of energy. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to buy the blue meat and the raw silk, because two is exactly what we need to cook. Uh, let me think on that. The problem with that, if I buy these two, the scientist will only be able to buy... Well, the scientist could buy the spun silk and the engineer could buy the raw silk, as long as they don't lose anything. You know what? Maybe the chef... I, the thing is, the chef can gen, can eat their own ingredients. Like, this helps trash cards, but the chef can already do that, so I'd rather give it to someone else, but no one else can afford the Gamma Toaster right now. You know, maybe... I'll just grab the Gamma Toaster for some raw power currently. Or I could buy the refined silk. That's way more energy than Chef needs. Chef really doesn't need a lot of energy ever. But again, it's not affordable by anyone else, so... Yeah, alright, let's get this. Who knows, maybe we'll, we'll end up cooking twice. And it's pricey. Done. Alright, scientist's turn. We can do some research this turn. Big research, actually. Okay, this is our first interpersonal crisis. Mr. Jingles! The scientist may have gone too far augmenting the intelligence of favorite lab rat, Mr. Jingles. Having escaped his cage, the rodent is leaving a trail of threatening messages and defiant little poops. The captain and engineer have 12 turns to reach the lab and recapture the rat, where the ship takes two damage. So we have to have both the captain and the engineer in the research lab within 12 turns. Well, First, that's, you know, two people who aren't in there, and this door, these doors are all broken. That's going to be hard, but if we can get the Diploma Bot, we can solve it. But we'll, we'll see if we can work that out. Anyway, scientist's turn is going to be pretty obvious. Uh, we're going to play research with lots of power. Okay, so we could pop a random engineer card and mutate someone's card. We could unlock two chef's cards. Or I guess we could do a chef and a mutate, but that would be pretty weak. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of tempted. I'm still kind of hoping for a duct tape draw for the engineer. So that we can fix the draw pods over here to improve other people. I think I'm going to pop an engineer card and then do a mutate. Or we could pop this. Uh, it's another one of these, but it's fine. And then unlock a chef card.
A lot of people want a chef card. Let's go ahead and do that. Flambe is really nice because it destroys a card from another player's hand, and then they draw a card to replace it. This is really great for improving everyone's deck. So, all right. I I'm happy about that. We will have to start doing some mutations soon, though. And now the uh, engineer's cards are too expensive to upgrade, so we really need to upgrade and to do other people's stuff. Um, specifically the scientist, because the scientist has, I think it's called, is it Breakthrough? No, that might be something else. There's um, a card they can get that lowers the cost to upgrade. All right, scientist with five money. I'm going to buy the Spun Silk, since we know the engineer won't be able to afford it. And we could use the power. Done. Cyberpunk. Shouldn't have clicked that. A bogus light link hacks your discard pod, sucking a random card from your hand. So the engineer, well, who couldn't repair anything this turn anyway. I think we just lost a second upgrade chip, or I, I don't know. But yeah, well, we'll do this. I mean, it only needs to play with one power. Like, doesn't matter how much par power we put in. I'm going to give us another tick of FTL for some flexibility, although I, then I'm probably going to want to go back to shields. This is a, we really need the engineer to get a good repair turn. I'm going to pick up Silk. I do, I, I'm always worried that the engineer's not going to have enough money, but we do need some more power. Hopefully we can draw that with a trusty wrench. We get the exterminator. No, we have tons of power. Maybe we can Unamas the engineer. Random player's draw pod is busted, so they're not going to get as many cards. It's the engineer. That's probably the worst draw pod to bust because it's so much harder to fix itself. Well, there's nothing for us to do but to do a big engage, I guess. I'll do this. I'll, you know, max out the power. I guess I'm going to do I'm going to do a little circle over here and hopefully by then we'll have gotten the beans cooked, like gotten the beans to the chef and cooked and we can go over to the first location. Um we do want to cover a lot of ground because we're looking... There's some rare ingredients that you can only get on some planets. Yeah, it's just a game that doesn't run in DOS and Heresy. I know, we've been doing a lot of old classic games lately, and I've been loving it. Planet Dora, we're exploring it. Oh, Raw Nuts are here! Well, we're definitely going to stop here because we need two Raw Nuts, and they're not easy to find. Raw Nuts, X-Ray Burnalizer is really good. Look at your next four cards and destroy one. Um, we don't need more space kale. I still want to buy something. I'm trying to decide between a space kale and a hall pass. Let's do a hall, uh, space kale. It'll be a giveaway for people to maybe boost their income a little bit, because we've got plenty of things with energy in here. Alright, next phase. So the captain's got less money because of the vexel, unfortunately. I'm gonna grab the raw silk here and go. Actually, no one's got a lot of money this turn. Oh, the captain does not have an engage in her hand, so we're not gonna be able to move next turn. She does have the power glove though, which is gonna help. Oh, the cook's got an extra draw. That's not really the person we need to have an extra draw, but sure. Let's taste test. We'll put the... Oh shit, did I have stuff in my discard pile before I taste tested? I might have. Dang it. Well, let's put the dark turnip in our hand. I'm just gonna discard the cook rather than trash it. There's a space kale. Keep that. I'm gonna destroy the taste of the future. Then I'm going to cook. I'm gonna play this with a couple of energy. She's going to need. We're going to submit this. And we're going to throw the kale into the pot. Hooray! Now that means less money, because we don't have the kale in our hand anymore, but we still have eight, so that's great. The chef has, like, the best um, stuff. Uh, we're going to grab the raw nuts over here. They're expensive enough that not everyone can afford them. The chef's definitely going to need them soon. So let's do this. And Chef doesn't really need the Burnalizer or the uh, Gamma Toaster. Cr 
crisis, kitchen critters. A sugar mite nest has been growing in the kitchen walls and their violent uprising has begun. The chef and the engineer have 12 turns to get in there and resolve the crisis or the ship takes two damage. So at least the chef's already in the kitchen, but we gotta get the engineer there and here. We need diploma bots. Okay, now I can play a research with two energy, which all it would enable is a mutate. If we take a look at the engineer, mutations here won't help. Not this turn. I mean, long term, sure. It doesn't really help anything here. I think the thing to do is just a foresight. Uh, single player. I'm playing all the players. You can. It's a normally a four-player co-op game. Although I guess you can play with two and everyone plays two or three and someone doubles up. But yeah, it's, it's a four-player co-op game and you can play all the roles if you want. Yeah, I think I'm just going to foresight because the research is not really going to do much this turn. There's no reason to foresight the engineer. There, I, there, there's going to be good... I mean, the, the duct tapes are still going to be in there. We can do it blind. Um, I'm going to do the scientist. Oh, I can't because it's borked. What did this reveal? Uh, yellow X. So these are... There's certain artificial ingredients that you only find by unlocking. Um, uh, we need the nitro preservative. I don't know if there's another one. Oh, yeah, the fried fructose. This uh, yellow X is not actually one that we need. So we can actually just ignore that spot completely. Let's reveal another chef one. Discard dive. Yeah, this lets you pull an ingredient from any player's discard pile and throw it in the pot. So this is a cook from a boat. So this will let um, the chef cook the uh, beans from the captain's discard pile, for example. So that's probably a decent one to grab. Um, but that's the end of the scientist's turn right now. And... Um... Do I leave the spun silk for the engineer? I kind of think the answer is yes. Space tail. Oh, this engineer turns so annoying. Oh, last door is busted. All the engineer can do is run the exterminator. Uh, for every power, you destroy one vexel from a random player's collection. I think there's only the one vexel in the captain's hand. But like... Woo! There you go, we destroyed one whole vexel. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna grab the spun silk. Trusty wrench. And some energy. Okay. We do need to get some more cards for the uh, engineer, though. Yeah, I destroyed it good. Oh, and a new Vexel. Of course it does. So I'm going to start with the Power Glove. And draw some more cards. I did not draw a trans... That's really annoying. Because we're not going to be able to refinish our shop. Damn it. Oh. Uh, we do need a second Quantum Bean, so we're going to go there. That was already kind of the plan. Uh, technically stealing is good. I think it's we steal power from a satellite to charge our shield, so that's actually quite nice. Breaky bounce is the chef breaks something, which is annoying. Okay. And that is unfortunately the captain's turn, since we can't move from our room. Okay, I'm going to buy the Gamma Toaster. Because no one else can afford it right now, and we're going to have some shop issues. This is, a. Uh... Oh, yeah, now we draw all our engages. They don't have power. It's Actually, it's probably a good thing if we can mutate one of those engages. Corrosive Sludge. Yeah, we're going to... Um, I could do the Flambe to cook, but... We don't have to rush it. I really don't want to take two damage here because it would actually be hull damage. So unfortunately, I have to burn the uh, the silk to dodge the damage. Um, I guess I can still taste test. I'll keep the hull pass and destroy the taste of the future. Now, Flambe, destroy a card from any player's hand and then they draw one. I think... Oh, that's tricky. Okay, I'm not... The scientist is fine. <sighs> I kind of feel like I want to get the engineers in a little bit better shape. Which either means 
burning the upgrade ship or the taste of the future. I think we have a second upgrade ship. So I'm kind of tempted to burn this. Especially since Taste of the Future at least has a little bit of power for repair this turn. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And drew... It drew a second trusty wrench, which is unfortunate because that doesn't actually help. Okay, still. Um, these guys don't have enough money for anything here, so I'll get the X-Ray Burnalizer for the chef, even though he really doesn't need it the same way. If anyone else could afford it, I would've just gotten leftovers of the chef, because they're pretty good at purging this stuff, but... Yeah, have the chef take leftovers and remove more easily. The problem is, no one else could afford that, so I might as well get an easy one. So we got another time crisis here. We're gonna take so much damage. Okay, we do have an Unamos remote. I think the captain's got the Diploma Bot. I'm tempted to make them draw a card. But I think we need to give it to the chef, the, the engineer. They have the broken draw pod and everything. All right, let's research for three, which I guess means the chef gets the card, which is probably going to be discard dive. Or do I want to mutate? Hold on. I think if you give energy to Trusty Wrench, it'll give it some built-in power when you play it, which is really nice. And again, I, I want to do that and engage. We don't need it right this second. We need so much stuff repaired. Yeah. I'm going to mutate an Engineer's Trusty Wrench. Give it a built-in power. And I'll have the scientist uh, take the leftover hit. And leave this for the engineer. Cosmic rays. Uh, Alright, that's another computer gone. But, at least, okay, I can trust your wrench here. There you go. Power charge one. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I could have played this one and discarded it, but I wanted to make sure. So, we got six power. <sighs> fixing the doors. Like, we could spend all our power fixing the doors. But we're still going to have a hard time dealing with the disaster. I don't need to fix the chef's draw pod. They're going to be fine for now. I think we fix this draw pod. The shields, and then one of the doors. Yeah. Doesn't really matter which one we start with. Um, although, I guess there's no disaster there, but... It probably will be. And the captain needs to move for two of them. Meteor, random damage. It's a good thing we were repairing the shields here. Okay, we're gonna engage. Now we can do a lot of moving around here. So we're gonna stop here for the quantum beans. Because we do need another one. Punch it! Stock ship. So we'll just buy everything right now. And then we're going to engage again. Now, I don't want to end up there for the breaky bounce, but we can come here for technically stealing, which will recharge our shields. Hey, Samuel. Samael. Yeah, it's a, I love this game. It's a great little thing. There you go. Swipe some power from busted satellite. Shields refill plus two. I mean, it was only down by one, but still. Okay. We don't need more space kale. Although it's at least cheap. So the claw and the claw of duty are great. The Aegis battery is great. I might trash the Exchange of Tron. It's pretty good, but it's really expensive right now. I'm not entirely sure we need the Gamma Toaster either. 
I think, actually, I'm going to trash the Gamma Toaster and replace it, replace it with the Aegis Battery. I mean, this does let you trash stuff. Oh, I guess you're right. We could replace the meat. Although, the meat is one of the few cheap things. And our money's kind of tight right now. Let's see. The captain's going to buy... The only thing the captain can buy is the blue meat. I'm actually wondering if I should trash maybe the flux inverter and just grab the uh, uh, the kale here, just so that there's something else cheap. I think I have to. Damn it. I, yeah. Flux inverter's good, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, they'll be, they'll be the claw. But there's a bunch of people with only five money and a lot of things that cost more than five currently. So things are tight. So I will buy the claw. Most expensive thing I can afford. See, and then, yeah. So right now, the engineer and the scientist are going to have to buy both of these ingredients. Unless they get a random card draw. Oh, I could have engaged one more time, that's true, but uh, that's fine. I don't, well, I probably should have. Okay, let's case test here. I'm going to keep this. Do I want to trash the cook? I think I might. Now nah, we'll just discard it. Unfortunately, I can't do anything right now. There's nothing I can cook because I don't have the beans in my thing. So that's the turn. But Chef has a lot of money. We're going to get Diploma Bot. Because we need as many of those as possible so that we can resolve those crises without having to move around. Which, speaking of, I, this one's about to pop. There you go. We just took two damage. Oh, they started a new one, and this one failed. So we took the damage here. And anyway, we got a new one going on here. Just terrible. Um, nothing for us to do here but to research for five. We can mutate one thing, or I can lock a thing for the chef. I think I'll take the discard dive, because that'll give the chef the ability to maybe cook the bean from the captains. Although chef I think you can also buy more beans. It's actually less of an issue. You know what? Maybe I'll do this, hope to get a second flambe instead. Because the, the, the cook can buy their own beans. Yes? Hang on. Cancel. Z mark. There's beans over here. The chef has enough money. Or will next turn. Yeah. So we get a flambe to keep, like, manipulating other people's hands. That'd be real nice. Or free sample lets you steal things from other people's hands, which is excellent. So I have two more power, but we can't do anything with it. We'd be able to unlock a captain's one if their computer wasn't broken. But it is, so we can't. So here... I'll just buy the space kale, because we don't need it for the chef or anything. Just buying it to not have leftovers. Give us a little bit more money, and hopefully we can trash it later on. Alright, engineer. Meteoroid, okay. Now, let's make sure. Can the captain move us next turn? You have an engage and a little bit of power, so yes. So we don't need to Unamas the captain. Um, does the scientist have a turn next turn? Well, you can't research, but you could foresight a bunch of stuff, assuming it's fixed. I think we're going to remote ourselves. Yeah. I could use, use it for energy, but I'm hoping we get a better, um, a better card. I'm just going to remote myself. There you go, Spun Silk. A lot more energy. And we still get the money from this card here, because it wasn't discarded, it was only played, so we have more money overall in our hand as well. Uh, so we're going to do a Treasury Wrench for as much energy as we can, which is apparently five. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to fix the Disaster with Diploma Bots. At least we have two right now, so I'm not prioritizing the doors. The Chef does have a Diploma Bot, so... Or Diplomata Bot, I don't know. Diploma Bot, whatever it's called. We could fix the Draw Pods. 
Yeah, that's probably a thing to do. Max shields, draw pod. Done. Or, ooh, shit, maybe I should have done the lab stations. The scientist, yeah. Well, we don't have anything to research, but the scientist is going to have kind of a crappy turn, but I guess that's it. I'm going to get the claw of duty here for the engineer, since we did end up enough money with it, which is great. This is going to be really useful to pull a repair card as we need it. Um, and it's worth some energy by itself. Oh yeah, the flambe and free samples, yeah. You want to cycle through that a lot. At least the chef's really good at making their deck super small. Okay. Corrosive sludge. Okay, I have power in the... I'm going to trash the Gamma Toaster plus the Hall Pass. I'll be able to play the Diplomabot, and then I can engage with the power as is, plus the Taste of Future. I mean, I could not do this, and then I could use the Gamma Toaster to crush something. No, this, this is going to be great. Gamma Toaster, Hall Pass, dodge the damage. Diploma Bot to resolve this crisis, which is going to pop in two turns. And then we'll engage. So the question now is, where are we going to go? I don't want to end up here. I could go here, here, and then back or something. We do need to get back over here at some point. Maybe what I'll do is do something... Oh, that's not connected. Something like this, this, this. We'll see if... Uh, this, we've already been there, so there's nothing exciting. But here or here, we might hit a rare ingredient thing. Because I think the Great White Truffle... Yeah, it's only on one planet. So we're going to run through both of those. And the idea is maybe we can come back towards our first drop spot. Yeah, head towards Venus. So we're going to do this. I mean, I could cut through here a little bit faster. But no, we'll do it this way. And that does end up a little bit closer. Seems all right. So the first jump is going to be a nothing, because we'll have been here, done that. Punch it. We don't know what kind of event might be here in Weem. Oh, sure thing. Exotic ingredient blueprint. So there's more quantum beans. Uh, we don't need more quantum beans, though. Although we know at least there's no bad events there, so that's okay. We're going to punch it one more time. Handyman! <gasps> Three free repairs! Yeah, please! Let's fix a science pod. It will fix a scientist pod themselves, because we act, we really need to get the thing to make the science cheaper. Um, and then we'll uh, just fix one of the doors. I mean, there's still disasters going on, but again, hopefully we're we're just going to diploma bot it. But let's do that. Okay. Let's dock. I'm thinking these four. The claw's less, maybe the, eh, the claw's slightly cheaper, which is nice. The captain's only got four money. The captain can buy the claw if we do it this way. Yeah, I like this. Um, I guess I could drop, I could drop the blue meat for the spun silk. Actually, that's probably better, because we don't need the blue meat. Yeah, exactly, Andrew, yeah. Done. Resupply. Next phase. Um... Oh, would I rather the Unumas than the Claw? I think this is better. I mean, this lets us selectively grab something from our discard. It's only a non-job, so I can't grab an engage. I could use it to recycle a Diploma Bot, though. Or, like, a Taste of the Future. Unumas um, is random, because we don't know what we're going to draw, but could draw us an engage, and we could use it on other people's stuff. But you know what? Maybe we'll have the Claw, because it'll give us more, more likelihood to grab that extra Diploma Bot when we need it. Busted. Okay. Well, let's start by taste testing. There's no reason not to do that. Well, we're also for, for sure going to flambe that Vexel, I think. Unless you're going to be exterminating this turn. And you're not. So, yeah. We're going to flambe the Vexel. And make the draw new card as replacement as well. Taste test. Oh, there we go. We're going to keep the X-Ray Burnalizer. We're going to destroy our own Vexel. I'm going to play the X-Ray Burnalizer.
I don't think I'm going to destroy any of these. I don't. That's the thing with the X-ray burnalizer. I don't think there was much point um, to giving it to the uh, chef, but they had to buy something, and it was pretty good, and it kept it something else. Um, so that's it for the chef's turn. Let's get him those quantum beans. Excellent. And if this doesn't get reshuffled, there you go. New crisis. So, yeah, I'll just foresight with all the energy in my hand. Um, I'm going to foresight... Okay, so fast track... Um, Normally, when you unlock a tech, it goes to the discard. Fast track is the same as research, but it lets the it puts it directly in their hand, which is really nice. Uh, but there we go. Breakthrough is what we're looking for. Reduces the lab cost by two. I think it's a minimum of two, but it'll let us make these upgrades more affordable again. It works on the mutate as well. There's a nitro preservative. We're eventually going to need to cook our final ingredient. Another fast track. I'll do this as well. Yeah, if we can get a second breakthrough, it's not the end of the world either. Okay, next phase. I like this game so much. Um, I'll just grab a power glove. Yeah. Hard to argue with that. Like how the chef ate the maxil. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's willing to experiment with different flavors. Okay, we got trusty wrench and a lot of power. Space junk. Okay, well, it's a really good thing we got a lot of power. Because, yeah, life support, we lose whole point. It ignores our shield. We lose all point every four turns. And it's fairly expensive to fix, but we're okay. We got eight power. First priority, repaired life support, which costs three. Second, I'm going to fix the shields. Then I'm going to fix the remaining lab stations. Okay. We're in pretty decent shape all of a sudden. We got full shields. Still full HP. Doors are busted. But, uh, man. I mean, we're, like, we're... You could lose so fast, but it's not a bad situation to be in. I'll grab the Aegis Shield because we can afford it. Not everyone will be able to all the time. Give us consistent power and money. Um, I kind of like having the Aegis Battery on... I said Aegis Shield. Aegis Battery. I like having this on other people because it gives you an ability to repair the shield kind of out of turn. Um, the Engineer will probably rarely use it as a cast, but it's a good just base value card for the Engineer. And I do really find the Engineer tends to struggle with their economy, so we've done a good job over here. Captain's turn. Meteoroid. Okay, that's fine. We have shields. Now, I should have... By the claw, I can bring back the diploma bot. I can play the diploma bot to resolve this crisis, which is going to pop in two turns. And then I can engage. So I'm going to come here, because we haven't been there. And we'll stop there and shop, and then I'll use my second engage, probably move a little bit more, maybe. Punch it. I mean, her shop will be full, but it'll still give us option. Planet Desec. Thanks for the FDL charge. We're starting to get some decent money, although the engineer doesn't have a very high value turn this turn. I'll put a dark turnip in there so the engineer's got something they can buy to maybe give them some money. And we'll put a flux inverter there for the people who have cash. Okay. And yeah, I really don't value the hall passes very much because I prefer to uh, diploma bot. Especially with the doors being broken. The worst is when you get locked, like you move to a room and then door breaks and you get locked in there and you can't do your normal job things. It's terrible. Oh, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to do a second engage. Um, we really need to move towards first over here now. So let's do this. I'll probably travel all the way to the end unless we hit, like, a, a super rare ingredient. Cover some territory. Space turnip does look really tasty. Mark one off. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna flag an exotic ingredient, which is actually... In oh, that's the breaky bounce. Oh, but we're not going through there. We're skipping that. We're going from here directly to there, so that's good. Uh, punch it. Zap Marchia. Oh, they have quantum beans. Um, we don't need more quantum beans, though. The chef has one, and so does the pilot. 
I mean, they're a pretty decent thing to have in our hand, but I think I'll just punch it. We're going to get closer to destination one because I think we can turn that in. You think I have three quantum beans? I don't know. Oh, so much for getting close to our destination. We just flung through into our wormhole. Going to go somewhere random. Integris. And then we get hit by space pirates. Discard four power card or a random card from every player's hand is lost forever. Worst wormhole ever. We have no cards left. We wouldn't be able to... Oh, God damn it. It's going to pull good shit. We lost a diploma bot? I mean, these are fine. And I guess the captain couldn't lose a card. Oh, no! I wonder if I should get rid of the dark turnip and replace it with raw silk for the engineer. I think I'm okay with, like, our cost distribution over here. Couple of sevens, couple of fives, couple of fours. The Burnalyzer's pretty good, though. Um, I might drop a, the Claw for a Burnalyzer. I mean, I want a Cheapo here. Yeah, I think I like that. Or, you know what? No, I'm going to drop the Flux Inverter. It is quite good. Can do that. And that. For this and this. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of RNG, but you sort of start to get used to it. And it is, you know, it can be frustrating, the RNG, because it can, like, just slam you with bad event after bad event. But you can see we're, we're taking certain strategies to try to avoid as much of that as possible. But yeah, inevitably, you are going to lose sometimes. Like, there's no there's no guarantee that you can win any run. Like, some games are like, you can run, win any run as long as you're careful. This is not one of those. Sometimes you will just lose, but, you know. What do we want to give the captain? You got a decent amount of money, so picking a more expensive one makes sense. I don't know if I want the refined silk for the captain. I'm actually wondering about the X-ray burnalizer. So the captain's gonna start manipulating their own deck here. Oh yeah, we should look at where exactly we earned it up too. I'll check the map next turn. Because we don't know where the wormhole actually sent us. Oh, bonus card. Okay. Uh map. Oh, we're here! Oh, yeah, okay. It, that wormhole is pretty minor, actually. and actually moved us closer to our goal. So that's not so bad. Um, do I have beans in the discard? I do have beans in the discard. So I'm going to... I have a second cook card. For every two power, toss an ingredient. Oh, hmm. Well, let's find out how this happens. If I do this... So I'm going to cook the quantum beans. Oh, it will let me throw the raw nuts in. Although, maybe I'll keep the raw nuts. And just, we'll, we'll because they're, it's quite good to have. And we'll throw the blue meat in for now. Because the raw nuts at least has some energy. Yeah, the pirates were really annoying. But otherwise, the wormhole wasn't as bad as it could have been. There we go. So we finished the black hole soup. And we're starting to work on an antelope souffle. Actually, could have done that all with the first cook, but there we go. That's fine. Excellent. Use up the turnips as well. Um, so I'd rather have the cook be in a position to help other people, because it's not critical for the cook to pull things out at key times. If you still, if the cook still had the diploma bot, but it got eaten. Um, then the claw might be better. So I'm going to grab the remote because he can use it on other people. Well, that's annoying. We only have one power. So I have to take the damage. And then the scientist has nothing to do on their turn because they don't have enough power to actually unlock anything with research. Um... Silk or Power Glove? You know what? You have some silk in there already? Let's Power Glove instead. 
as long as it doesn't boom up to play. Oh, that's nice and spicy. I like that one. Engineer. Cyberpunk. Oh, we lose a card. Well, I guess we're going to be doing some repairs. One busted door. Actually, I guess I could have repaired mine and maybe moved. Well, only the kitchen doesn't need anything. I can't remember if I just repaired the kitchen. No, I think I repaired both these doors, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, Unfortunately, you're going to have to buy leftovers. Because we got the extra discard. That was really annoying. Yeah, local play option has pass and play. Yeah, what I don't know if it has a... Um, a tablet version. This would be excellent on the tablet for a pass and play. That's something I don't know. Got space junk again hitting our life support, so we're gonna lose actual HP every four turns. Alright, first thing the captain's gonna do is do a little ask around. Um, I guess we might check here, because we have to go through here and here to go this location regardless. Well, I suppose we could take an alternate route. I don't know, let's poke there. Eureka's handy. French fried fuel is fine. Well, we're probably going to go through... I don't know. Uh, no, I guess we don't have to go through there. Let's check to see what it is. Accident prone. So actually, we want to ignore that one. So we'll go directly to Washu Tishu. And then work our way over to Spinus. Yeah, you put on the laptop pass and play that. Okay. Um, I don't actually have a transportation card. So we're going to power glove. Hope we draw a... We didn't. Well, that's awkward and annoying. I guess I could just haul past myself to the lab. Because maybe we can resolve that crisis with the engineer. Wow. Well, this sucks a lot. I love the planet names. Yeah, they're very creative. All right. Let's move over there. It's first time we've moved. Now, here's something that's interesting. Since we're in the same location, we can exchange cards. I could give the scientist... That's an interesting question. I could give the scientist the raw silks. They have more energy for research. I could even give them the quantum beans. What does the engineer have card-wise? Yeah, the engineer has no active cards this turn, so we need to try to give them some cards, which I can't because the door's closed, but maybe we can unimoss them or something. Stacey Elf needs to stretch her legs. Hmm. Okay, How, Scientist has five money right now. So either way, we end up with someone who's got five and someone who's got seven. I'll give the raw silk to the Scientist. They'll have more energy. Either way, I want to give them some energy. So we'll go ahead and do that. Unless, um... Unless I decide to just offload Taste of the Futures to the Scientist. Either way, we're making our deck a little bit smaller, which is going to be useful for things. No, I'll give them the Raw Silk. Give card. Raw Silk. Oh, select them. And then give them the Raw Silk. Can I give more cards? No, one per turn. Okay. Yeah, if the lab door gets busted, it'll be awkward as fuck. Captain's got to get the claw. Captain just needs a little bit of consistency. Doesn't need big power cards. There's all our engages. Well, actually, two out of three, I think. Okay, crisis. Now, this is quite good. The chef's got a lot of manipulation. Um, so what we can do is we can do a lot of things to try to improve the engineer's situation, since the engineer has no active cards currently. So first thing I'm going to do... Because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna steal random stuff over here from the engineer. Um, taste of the futures or, or blue meat. That's interesting to consider. I mean, ultimately, we do need another blue meat for the chef. On the other hand, that removes the engineer's money, which I don't like. But I think that's what's gonna happen. And at least the engineer can still buy a raw silk. So yeah, I'm going to free sample. The engineer's blue meat, 
which is going to give them a new card. It's just another taste of the future. Then I'm going to flambe one of the engineers' taste of the future, which is going to give them a leftovers, which would have been much better to trash. And annoyingly, they still have... Oh, I could have unimossed them first, actually, which would give me a better pool of things to look at. That was dumb. I should have done that first. Aegis Battery. You still did not draw a goddamn repair card. Okay, let's taste test. Um, I don't need to move. I'm going to keep the raw nuts. I think I'm going to burn the hall pass. God damn it. Uh, I can't cook the raw nuts because I need it for its own energy. So, and I can't cook the blue meat. So that's the engineer's turn. Or the scientist. Or the cook's turn. God damn, I can't believe the engineer got completely boned. I could just grab the leftovers. Although I think we're able to move next turn. No one can afford to refine silk right now, so I'll just pick that up. Oh man, this is rough. Oh, we have another Unamas remote. And we did get a busted door, but luckily not this one. But that event did trigger. I'm gonna Unamas the engineer. Fucking exterminator. He still doesn't have a trusty wrench. Tell you, the engineer's hand is really important. So I got seven points. Oh, well, I need to get a breakthrough, if not two, just to manage these costs. Five points. I could do the si another card for the scientist. A breakthrough, a, a fast track could be nice to put cards in the other player's hands, but they're not critical at this point. Um, we could do this plus a captain, or I could just blind do an engineer thing, which isn't going to put them in their hand. Do a mutate, but I don't think there's a mutate we need to do right now. I don't think there's a helpful mutate action. Science and Captain. Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, there's some good Captain cards we need to start doing. Or we, you're right, we could do two Captain's cards. Actually, that's probably better. Okay, Captain's Orders will teleport anyone anywhere. That does ignore doors. Uh, and we're going to do another Captain, because there's some Captain cards we do want. Oh, Golden Syrup! Hey, that we needed for the Souffle! Alright. Okay, well that was okay-ish. Yeah, we're just going to start taking actual hull damage here. Mm. Yeah, I'll grab this fun silk. I'd rather have the engineer do it, but the engineer might, you know, discard cards and not have any ability to buy anything. Okay, we got another crisis. Alright, so I'm gonna play the Aegis Battery, which I didn't think I was ever gonna have to do, but it'll at least give us a point of shield. And then, I don't even know if there's anything to exterminate. The breakthrough is a card that you have to play. So I wouldn't mind a second breakthrough card, but... Okay, we had just enough shield to not take any hull damage, but now the shields are down, and now the life support's hitting. Again, that would have done the HP damage, regardless of the shield status. So no matter what, we're going to have four hit points right here. Uh, I guess, yeah, that crisis isn't being res uh, resolved. I'm in a Gamma Toaster, a Taste of the Future, which will double its value currently, and it'll blow itself up at the end of the turn, which thins out the Captain's Hand, which is nice. We're in Engage. What I'll do, in case we hit a Skunk, I'm not going to use the second power right now. Um, this one was, what? Eureka. So I can go here, and then here. We'll want to stop and maybe do some shop, and then I'll use the second Eureka to move over to Spinus. And turn in a mission. Yeah, the ship is falling apart. And it, like, happens fast. Happens fast. There's Eureka. 
So random research node is unlocked and goes directly to the player's hand. So the scientist gets a free mini cube, which lets us copy another card. Okay. Yo, Gabakora. Technically stealing, yes! Free shields, thank you. We'll just buy everything here. Free supply. I will engage, one more taste of the future. Submit, and visit Spinus. There will not be an event at Spinus. It will just be the, hey, you're here in this place somewhere you have to deliver things. Crowd pleaser! Our black hole soup is a hit on Spinus! Nothing but smiling faces and full bellies as far as the eye can see. It's times like these that make all the danger and near-death experiences feel totally worth it. Now onto our second stop for today. We hear the natives on Theron are suckers for some antelope souffle. Let's not disappoint them. Oh, we do get an event! We got another technically stealing. Our shields are full. We still need a repair event, but... So we don't need any of these. I'll probably just grab the silks. Yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm trying to speed up. I'm realizing the time here. Next phase. Um, we got six. I mean, I could buy this. I, but again, I think with the captain, you don't need a lot of power. A new Nemos remote can help the captain find themselves a travel card or just help another teammate. So I'm pretty pleased with this. And there you go. The uh, Taste of the Future burned itself up from the Burnalyzer. Or not the Burnalyzer, the Gamma Toaster. We got Cosmic Rays blowing up one of our computers. Again, this X-Ray Burnalyzer is really not for the cook. I really... The cook should maybe move and give it to someone else if they get a chance, but we can't right now. Um, I'm going to Burnalyzer first. I don't think we're going to destroy any of this. Although, at some point, we can get rid of these taste tests. Especially if I have the Burnalyzer. Although, this lets us draw more cards, which gives us value. It replaces itself. Yeah, taste test is never bad. Burnalyzer the meat and buy a new one. That's interesting. Since there's really nothing else the chef wants to buy, although they've got plenty of money. No, I'm just going to destroy nothing right now. It's fine. I mean, we may as well taste test, because this can come up again here. Uh, I'll put the taste test in my hand. I'll just discard this. Uh, we're going to keep the remote. We're going to discard the refined silk. Um, how are you doing, Chef? You've got a wrench. You've got two wrenches and some power. Foresight, breakthrough, mimic cube, draw. Oh, how's the uh, captain? Claw. No, Captain's fine, too. I'm trying to decide who to Unamas remote. And yeah, I can cook the raw nuts, which I, we will. Hmm. Maybe we can get a little bit more tech unlocked? Although, maybe we do the engineer for safety. And repair needs more power. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of stuff broken. Cook with the refined silk. We're going to cook the raw nuts. So it's nice to have had its value, but that's going to be okay. So we just need to get the honey, which uh, the captain currently has. And yeah, everyone's got enough money. Yeah, I'll just buy like a blue meat. And yeah, we can, we'll be able to destroy one later. That's fine. Might still be in leak on the side. Yeah, we're losing oxygen here. Okay. Doors busted. And we failed a crisis. See, losing that diploma bot sucked. Alright, we draw two cards. There's no reason not to. Um, I can't go anywhere, so I don't need to haul pass. Well, we definitely want to play Breakthrough. In another player's hand, so I can't copy my own Breakthrough, unfortunately. Alright, let me play this first, because I'm definitely going to want to do that. We're going to want to lower the... I can't interact with the captain stuff, unfortunately. I don't think I can bring this down to one. Well, you've got the diploma bot that I can copy? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Mimi cube. Let's 
Plus, we could, we could have also done the, doing the repairs. Oh, it has to be non-job, so I can't copy the wrench. But the diploma bot works, which is good, because I can pop this one, which is the next one to go now. And I guess what the rest is... I use Foresight to basically reveal everything that's left. There's our duct tapes! So what's great about duct tape, it gives you three repair points with no power. What's the last thing here? Uh, fried fructose. Oh, which we do need for a recipe, so there we go. It's good to know where that is. What's our last thing here? Oh, it's another one of these cubes. Discard dive and a free sample, which could be useful. All right. Yeah, you really don't need much else. I may be able to grab the spun silk just for some raw power. But yeah, the scientists, at this point, the scientists is very near the done their research. So we really want the utility cards in the scientists, if you can. Boom. Ah, fudge! Okay. This, I mean, we're more efficient on repairs and trust wrench, but here it would actually do hull damage to us because we take three, we take point of hull damage. So we have to stop this. So I'm going to trash the spun silk and the hull pass to dodge that. Uh, should I remote myself? There's a good chance that's going to whiff and not help actually. So I'll just use the remote for power. Life support. Shields, lab station, and the doors don't matter. Everyone's kind of in there, but maybe the kitchen, because maybe we can trade uh, that um, x-ray burnalizer somehow. Okay. Whew, I was looking dicey. Yeah, just give me a raw self here. Okay. Woohoo! game is tense. Maybe not as tense as Tharsis. Draw pods busted. Oh, the chef. Okay, that's fine. So, first thing, we're definitely going to diploma bot this event. Get rid of it. I'm also going to burn Eliza. I'm going to destroy a taste of the future. I don't have anything in my discard pile. So I can't the claw anything, but I guess we'll just engage for a couple of power. I don't know if we can get anywhere new. Oh, no, I can. I can go here. Uh, what is this place? French fried fuel. So no bad event there. So we'll go there. And we need to make our way over to second for the antelope souffle. So it's quite a bit of a trip. So let's get boogie. That's true. The scientists can spend some of their time moving around and transferring carbs, too. Welcome back. We're going to punch into the next system so we actually get some fresh stuff to buy. Fertilizers are very nice. I guess we just do that because none of these are actually matter. Cool. And the captain will get a fertilizer. Second one, but that's okay. You think it turned wrong? Oh, maybe. I don't know we got we got the new system. That's all he's kind of looking for here. Maybe a random vexel. Not the end of the world. We do have the fumigator. I think we're gonna process a bunch of the uh, engineers' cards over here. Okay, wait. First, the captain. You have an ask around. Okay, the captain does not have an engage. We have to get the captain some new cards here. We do have an Unamas remote. It'd be nice to eat the leftovers, but no. We're going to... Let's start by stealing a captain's um, taste of the future. Placing with a power glove. At least that'll give her some more draws. But then we're going to flambe another captain's taste of the future. Got her a hall pass. Uh, yeah, the claw can't pick up a do j job card, so she's going to be reliant on the power glove picking up an engage, unless the Unamas gets it. Um, I can't cook because I don't actually have the golden syrup, so that is it for the chef's turn. Yeah, chef really doesn't need anything here. I'll just keep grabbing rant like a random ingredient or something, because the fertilizer doesn't help the cook, so we'll leave it for someone else. 
I think you can claw the power glove. You're right. So we can power glove claw at power glove again. Oh no, 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 because it doesn't get discarded. It gets played. It doesn't get discarded immediately. Pew pew time. Gaggle of silkworms. Okay. I'm going to Unamas the captain. Oh, this is an all hands event. Everyone would have to get there. But again, we'll hope the diploma bought it. And then we're going to research. Four points. Um, we've already unlocked a golden syrup. I think I'm just going to unlock another captain's card here. Backtrack. That can be very handy and will be in the end. I could do the duct tape. That's true, but... Cyberpunk, lose a card. Okay, Claw of Duty could bring back Taste of the Future. That's not useful, so we're just gonna trusty rent. Um, do I wanna do a little upgrade? How much damage do we have? No, no, dude, let's go our shop. Draw pod, yeah, okay, that's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna, um, upgrade ship. We gotta spend a power. I'm gonna give us, uh, we are gonna st have to start moving faster, but I think I want another level of shields. I mean, trusty wrench playing this. And I'm just going to fix this here rather than buff the shield. We'll get the draw pod. You know, chef a little bit less critical, but still handy. Now, the engineer is starting to have less um, average worth, but I think that's okay. I'm just going to get the raw silk. I was thinking about the call task. It's a little bit balanced, but... I guess we do have the nucleonic core. Captain has so many cards. Draw pod busted. Okay, I could teleport. Oh, you don't have a helpful trait. Never mind. Oh! Okay, the chef, first of all, is not going to have anything. Well, okay, the chef won't be able to taste test if they're not in the kitchen. But that's not the end of the world. What I could do is I could move the chef to the workshop and give the x-ray burnalizer to the engineer. I think I like that idea. Next, you are right that we can um, we can get our discarded diploma bot with the claw to resolve this. Um because I can't get job cards. I could pick up the Burnalizer, but I think that's probably the best thing to do. The Claw, Diploma Bot, play it, resolve the all hands. We're going to ask around, which is free. Oh, we'd rather not end up with Space Pirates, so we are going to have to take a different path through things. Um, so we could go here, otherwise we can cut through here and then go there. How's that location? A oh, Eureka, which is nice, and we'll end us up over there. Handyman, yeah, that's going to be a great route for us. All right, let's power glove. Hope we get... We did not get an engage. Let's Uno Moss ourselves. How the hell? Damn it. Oh yeah, we can't actually check the draw pod to see what's in there, but we've got to have... We must have two engages in there, because I think we have a total of three and only one's in the discard. Oh, that is rotten luck. It's like, I can't move because of the hall pass. Um, I don't want to gamma toaster any of these things. I suppose I could gamma toaster the hall pass away. Actually. I think I will. Send out the captain's deck. So this is really bad. Yeah, I'll just get the hall pass on the captain. Because again, the captain only needs cards with one energy or something just to be able to move a little bit. So. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to give to the engineer the x-ray burnalizer. And then you can't do anything because you're not in the kitchen, you can't get there. 
If the door was open, I could play case desk. You'd move to the kitchen and do that, but yeah. And then, yeah, just buy the leftovers. Since you can purge them. Okay. Yeah, we, we gotta we just gotta save the damage here. No research this turn. That's okay. Oh, that's not true. I got two. Uh no, nothing cost you. Never mind. I don't know, whatever. We're in the hall path. Well, you gotta buy something. That's the thing. You got no choice. And it's still better than buying the uh, leftovers. Delicate disposal. All right. Um, first of all, the engineer's gonna burn a lizer. You're gonna eliminate one of these hall passes. I suppose you could get rid of the raw silk. Because they're not that useful. Probably, I think it, both are pretty valid to get rid of. Unfortunately, we kind of know that the Unamas isn't going to give us anything useful. Because we know what's at the top of our deck. The captain has an engaged diploma bot, a little bit of energy. I'm still tempted to Unamos myself because it'll make it more likely that I have a repair card next turn. Because I'm just going to draw something that doesn't do anything this time. I could promote the science, but the science has got a power glove, and the science isn't like isn't going to make or break the game. Oh, good point. We're going to give. You're right. That's an excellent idea. We're going to give the cook these leftovers. That's an excellent idea. Thank you. Yeah, let, let's give it the captain. Might get more energy for more travel. Might draw something more useful. Engineer's gonna get the space kale. Short circuit. Well, I don't have that, so we're gonna have to take... Oh, it's gonna eat all of our shields, so it's equivalent to four damage. That's brutal. Now, can Captain's Orders move someone around? It could be the Chef, because they have nothing to do this turn. Although, I think... I, maybe I'll give the, have the Chef stay here, give the Refined Silk to the Engineer, and then take another useless card from the Chef. Um, I could teleport myself here to resolve the problem. Although, I'd want to do that last, because I can't get back into my, um, my cockpit. And there's a risk. If it doesn't fix the door, then we might not be able to move. So that seems poor. The thing is, I can just Diploma Bot this. So I guess there's no reason to move at all. So we'll Diploma Bot that and then engage for one. I'll, I'll leave these two in here. Is the chef yet? Yeah, the chef doesn't have to be in that back in the kitchen right now. And maybe some deck manipulation here is going to be handy. Well, I guess I didn't need energy. Okay. So we have to go here. That's third planet. Which, uh, actually, is that the correct route? Is there another way to get where we want a little easier? I don't want to go to the pirates. Yeah, I guess we go this way. At least we trigger a handyman. Okay. Travel to the very end of this. Punch it! So we're nearing the end of our stream. And remarkably, we haven't died yet, which is kind of what I was expecting. I think what's going to happen is we're going to continue this on Saturday. We'll finish this, which won't take that much longer, I don't think, hopefully. Um, Eureka, ooh, unlocks the backtrack for us. That's quite nice. Um, and then we'll play Rimworld. Forgot to say Chewy after Punch It. Very Chewy, very appropriate with a cooking theme game. I do want the draw pod, but I also don't want to die. I mean, I could do this in one shield, but that doesn't seem enough. I'm going to go ahead and put three points into the shields. Although, you draw at the end of your turn, so if I fix the draw pod, we would have had full cards here, but... Chocolate Wookiees. <laughs> um, I don't have any more energy, so I can't do another engage. There's no... Oh, you have to play power to backtrack. Okay, it's okay to die. Cool. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna get the Claw of Duty since it can pull job cards. So we can use that to pull up an engage or something on those awkward turns. Asteroid, take two damage, no ability to avoid it, so I'm happy I shield it up. Uh, Captain's next turn has an engage, some energy, some ability to manipulate things, so we don't necessarily have to unamass you. Um, you do have the card, and what about the engineer? Oh, the engineer doesn't have a repair right now. So yeah, I'm gonna Una Moss the engineer. Oh yeah, thanks, villain. I forgot about the sprint this race this week. And then we're going to give the refined silk to the engineer. They'll make good use of that. And you're just gonna pick up a new Moss. So you can keep Una Mossing people. At least her economy's gotten better. Invasion! Xanus the Conqueror is his eye on this planet, caught in the crossfire. We take one damage now, which we do have one shield, and then if we do, if we can't move, so it's every four turns, which basically means if you miss one turn of doing stuff with your pilot, you're stuck here and you take more damage, which is bad. I'm gonna burn Elizer first. I'm gonna purge a taste of the future. Uh, then I'm gonna power glove. And then I'm gonna power glove again. And then I'm going to do a huge research. Okay, first, before I research, what do we have that a mutate would help right now? Could mutate and engage to make sure we can play it even if we don't draw power? Otherwise, I don't think you don't really need power. We could put random power on something that the engineer has. I think I like the idea of making sure the engage has a little bit of power. Or I just unlock a bunch of shit, which is fairly likely, too. Um, we do need the sugar, so let's unlock that now. If I want to mutate... Oh, shit, I, I mute... I can only do one more thing with six points here. I could blind do the captain... Get a duct tape finally. You know what? Duct tape is everyone's best friend. Let's do that. Um, and yeah, the the scientist really just needs the support card, so we're gonna give them the Unimas remote. The burnalizer would be best on the engineer and the captain at this point. Bonus card. Frusty wrench. That's good, because we didn't have a repair. I could play the Aegis battery charger shield by one, but if I go through the wrench, and then we can use it to repair your bike too, which is going to be better. Um, I don't know if we have a Vexel. I think we do have one, don't we? I think we have exactly one Vexel. So I'm going to um, exterminator one. Okay, yeah. If it's the chef, it's not so bad, because the chef can do it. The oh, it's, in, it's literally in their hand. The chef's less critical... We have to repair it. Well, I could actually do nine points worth of repairs. Not all that's critical, though. Fuck okay, it. I'm going to exterminate her for one. We have two. Okay, did hit the chef's one, so whether or not there was another one, I don't know. And then I'm just going to trust you wrench for the rest. Oh, for ten. Fix the captain's draw pod. Max the shield. Fix both doors. Done. Hey! It's like right out of the showroom quality. It's the first time we've had the ship completely repaired. X-ray burnalizer, please. Ship shape, exactly. Captain got vexled. Or someone random got vexled, I don't know. Okay, we can the claw... Do we have a crisis? We don't have a crisis. Although I could still bring back the Diploma Bot because it's got good value. Heck, I could bring back a Taste of the Future just to Gamma Toaster it. I think I like that idea. 
Like a claw claw, that's true too. Yeah, good point. And a claw. A claw of duty, which just gives me more options. Because I can pull anything. But I don't need the engage. I know we have the FTL jump, but we're gonna. I'm gonna bring back the taste of the future. I'm gonna toaster it. Um. I might provoke the scientist, yeah. this pop stand. So we're trying to get over there. We'll go here, then here, and we'll go the full distance. Punch it! Serendipity! Oh, tell us where to find a rare ingredient. Ah, we need to get over there. The Great White Truffle. You know what then? I'm going to stop here rather than continue, because we're going to want to go bit this way. That's fantastic. So let's dock. And buy everything. Or pick up all the blueprints, rather. Uh, like, the clawing into a claw is kind of funny, but I think I'll grab the Gamma Toaster, because not everyone can afford everything. Can you get new cards locations already been in? No, the shop is empty if you've already been there. Even if you didn't buy all the cards. Door's busted. Um, the chef can't do anything for Oh! Oh no, the doors are fixed! Never mind. So I can steal a card from someone's hand. Perfect! I can steal the golden syrup from the captain. Which we need for the cook current cooking. Uh, I can't cook this turn, but maybe we can get there with a taste test. Well, I'll grab the cook. I'll destroy this vexel. We'll taste test some more. Well, unfortunately... I won't be able to cook the golden syrup this turn, but I guess it doesn't matter. We're not at second planet yet, so I'll grab the this. I will destroy the taste of the future. We're going to flambe something from someone's hand. It does let them redraw. I could flambe the blue meat, and maybe we grab energy, but it's it's not a, it's not a priority. Uh, we've got leftovers. Yeah, let's flambe these leftovers. No, I can't use it for energy and cook it, unfortunately. I mean, we'll try, but I don't think so. I'll go cook, using the golden syrup, submit, but it's from your hand. The only thing left in my hand is the blue meat. Or discard pile, but it's not in there either, because it's not discarded, it's just sitting here. So yeah, I can't, unfortunately, cook it. But that's okay. Um, And again, here, we're, we're just, you know, burn whatever. I might, might grab the turnip, just because it can give us money. Like, we don't need it. But no one needs it. No one needs to buy it. Everyone's got okay money. So yeah, I'll get that. So maybe I can purchase something interesting. That's going to be okay. I guess I could have grabbed the claw, but I kind of want to leave it for someone else. Um, the chef doesn't really need the claw the same way. If they can cook from the discard pile. Okay. We've got the Mimi Cube, which could be interesting. Let's see. We could copy the Power Glove or the Quantum Beam if we just wanted points. Or an X-Ray Burnalizer, which might not be a terrible idea. We could uh, copy a remote. Well, we could copy the Claw and bring something in. Hmm. Well, first we're going to play Breakthrough. I think this will only bring it down to two, but it might still be worthwhile. I might. I can't remember what else the captain has. Actually, no, the captain definitely has something else we'd want. Uh, no, you can only copy a non-job card, which is a wrench, so we can't do that. Yeah, so I did talk about like copying the beans or the syrup, either one. I guess the syrup's worth a little bit more money. 
Um, although the, the the scientist has plenty of money for everything. I think it's probably fine for us to copy uh, just a golden syrup and then use it for some research. Well, that would only give us two energy. Holy shit. Two energy is not going to be enough to do anything. There's a three silk here. So that's only three. That's barely enough. No, well, it's enough for a mutate. Which, again... Oh, you can mutate and upgrade ship because then it pays for itself all the time. I think I like that idea. Yeah. I'm going to mimic you. The three point silk. So that I can research a mutate on the upgrade. So it's always going to be kind of useful. And then for, and we don't have any power left, so that's the end of the turn here. And... I mean, we still need some energy. I think I will, actually. The Engineer could buy it, but they'll be fine with the Claw, too. And they might lose some power to discard. Yeah, we could have chained Claws. Let's trade them. Oh, Invasion over here, too. Taking damage immediately, and then we want to get out. So first thing I'm going to do is burn a lies. A taste of the future. And... Upgrade for a power. I'm just going to upgrade the shield some more. Hey, wait. Okay, so it's still animating. I'm like, hey, how come that's not full? I didn't realize it was slowly animating the shields filling back up. Okay. Well, that just completes an entire round, bringing us back to the captain, and it's just after four, so this seems like a great time to put in a cut uh, for things. Draw pods busted. Oh, that's super annoying. Who's Drop Pod? It's the Engineers. Well, the Engineer will be able to fix it on their turn with the Duct Tape, plus they still have their trusted branch, so that's going to be alright. Okay, we're not in a terrible, terrible, terrible spot. Um, we are going to continue to progress. Well, first we're going to go detour over to the Great White Truffle. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to work our way over to Theron over here. Uh, by the time we get there, we should easily be able to have the Souffle. The Chef has the Golden Syrup. Hopefully they'll get a, an opportunity to cook it. Um, but yeah, the Great White Truffle is going to be, I think, all we need for the end of it as well, which is hopefully going to be nice. Um, yeah, we're going to finish this on Saturday, so make sure not to miss it. Yeah. Oh, we don't have an engage over here, that's true. But we do have the Power Glove, we have the Claw as well. Um, and another Power Glove in here? No, I guess we don't have another Power Glove. Uh, oh, I can Claw. What'll happen... Well, I guess we'll power glove first, regardless. Yeah, we didn't get it. But I can claw the claw of duty and use that to get an engage. Like that. So that's quite handy. Fernalize a hall pass for later. I'm, I swear I'm not one more turning. I swear. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, I think if I quit, it's gonna it, the save is from the start of the turn, so uh, we'll be doing this again next time. We're going to raid a Kiss for Luck channel, where Rhinoceros Maximus is currently playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. Give him some love. I'm going to see you guys on Saturday, where we're going to finish this, and then play some RimWorld. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll see you there.